Welcome to another video. This video includes 10 nursing practice questions to teach you how to master the NCLEX. At the end of the video, check out the description for studying resources and more. Practicing nursing questions frequently is the best way to pass many nursing exams. Now let's begin. Starting with question 1. A type 1 diabetic client delivers a male newborn. The newborn is 45 minutes old. What is the primary nursing goal in the nursery during the first hours for this newborn? Bonding. Maintain normal blood sugar. Maintain normal nutrition. Monitor intake and output. The correct answer is maintain normal blood sugar. The infant will be at risk for hypoglycemia because of excess insulin production. A first trimester prima gravida is diagnosed with anemia. The nurse should suspect that this anemia is a result of mother's increased blood volume, mother's decreased blood volume, fetal blood volume increase, increase in iron absorption. The correct answer is mother's increased blood volume. Maternal blood volume increases at the end of the first trimester leading to a dilutional anemia. A newborn infant is exhibiting signs of respiratory distress. Which of the following would the nurse recognize as the earliest clinical sign of respiratory distress? Cyanosis. Increased respirations. Sternal and subcostal retractions. Decreased respirations. The correct answer is sternal and subcostal retractions. The newborn has to exert an extra effort for ventilation, which is accomplished by using the accessory muscles of ventilation. The diaphragm and abdominal muscles are immature and weak in the newborn. A 66-year-old female client has smoked two packs of cigarettes per day for 20 years. Her arterial blood gases on room air are as follows. These blood gases reflect Compensated metabolic acidosis Compensated respiratory acidosis Compensated respiratory alkalosis Uncompensated respiratory acidosis The correct answer is compensated respiratory acidosis. In compensated respiratory acidosis, the pH level is normal, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide level is elevated, and the bicarbonate level is elevated. The client's primary alteration is an inability to remove CO2 from the lungs, so over time, the kidneys increase reabsorption of bicarbonate to buffer the CO2. A cardinal symptom of the schizophrenic client is hallucinations. A nurse identifies this as a problem in the category of impaired communication, sensory perceptual alterations, altered thought processes, impaired social interaction. The correct answer is sensory perceptual alterations. In sensory perceptual alterations an individual has distorted, impaired, or exaggerated responses to incoming stimuli. In assessing the nature of the stool of a client who has cystic fibrosis, what would the nurse expect to see? Clay-colored stools. Steatoria stools. Dark brown stools. Blood-tinged stools. The correct answer is steatorrhea stools. In the early stages of cystic fibrosis, fat absorption is primarily affected resulting in fat, foul, frothy, bulky stools. The nurse should know that according to current thinking, the most important prognostic factor for a client with breast cancer is tumor size, axillary node status, client's previous history of disease, Client's level of estrogen progesterone receptor assays. The correct answer is axillary node status. Axillary node status is the most important indicator for predicting how far the cancer has spread. If the lymph nodes are positive for cancer cells, the prognosis is poorer. A three year old child is hospitalized with burns covering her trunk and lower extremities. Which of the following would the nurse use to assess adequacy of fluid resuscitation in the burned child? Blood pressure. Serum potassium level. Urine output. Pulse rate. 
The correct answer is urine output. Urine output, alteration in sensorium, and capillary refill are the most reliable indicators for assessing adequacy of fluid resuscitation. The most commonly known vectors of Lyme disease are mites, fleas, ticks, mosquitoes. The correct answer is ticks. Ticks are the common vector of Lyme disease. The priority nursing goal when working with an autistic child is to establish trust with the child, to maintain communication with the family, to promote involvement in school activities, to maintain nutritional requirements. The correct answer is to establish trust with the child. The priority nursing goal when working with an autistic child is establishing a trusting relationship. Well, that's it with this video. See you next week for another set of questions. Leave a comment saying how many you got correct.